didn't remove that. But hey, look at that. <laughs> Putting it right over those other swatches. We're fancy around here, you know. Hey guys, welcome back. So got part two of my PR haul and first impressions video for y'all today. So got some products to run through. I'm gonna show them to you, show you some swatches, give you my first impressions if I've tried these out and just do a little PR haul part two. So let's get into it. I got a skincare thing from Kiehl's. This is the Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream. And it says with red ginseng root and manuka honey. And then it says about it instantly improves skin's radiance and glow helps skin's ability to bounce back and recover from damage, restores skin's youthful softness. So I've used this a couple of times and it really does have like a, a honey sort of a consistency to it, but almost like a cream mixed with a honey. It really is cool. Like it's very um, soft, um, but has a little bit of like a, like a tackiness to it like there's honey in it. Like really, it's very interesting. Um, I've just used this a couple of times and really just at night because I was having some kind of like, you know, breakouts on like my T-zone. So I was just using it around the bottom part of my face or wasn't having breakouts just because I was using more acne thingies up on my T-zone. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So when I've used it, it feels very hydrating, um, intense moisture. And I could see, um, I would not use this during the day because I think it would be way too heavy, at least for me and my combo skin. Um, but if you have more dry skin, you might like this for daytime because I bet it would give that kind of like radiance to the skin. My skin looks very radiant when I go to bed at night because I have so much skincare piled on top of it. So if you like that kind of a look during the day, then you may really like this, but I'm just gonna use it at night. Um, but it's cool. I love that it has that kind of like honey sort of a look. And Beauty Junkies has a lot of new products, which is really fun. Some of these I've already mentioned in videos, but wanted to run through the different ones. I haven't tried this out yet, but I really need to. I do file down my fake nails, so I need to remember to use this one rather than the poopy one that I've been using. This is the File and Buff Fab Nails. So it looks like um, one of those like nicer um, sort of a nail file. And then they have, I have used this. This is the Lip Pumice. This is very exfoliating. So if you're looking for a lip pumice, they have that. I did try one of these. These are the um, concealer. And then it says Brow Highlighter Duo. So the one that I tried was Cool Beige. And this one's a little bit too dark for me. Um, I wasn't a big fan of this. Like, um, it's just kind of more of that sort of a creamy highlighter pencil sort of a thing, which isn't my favorite sort of a product. So I didn't open the other one, so I will keep that for a giveaway. But, um, cause some people may really like this. It's like the two sided um, concealer on one side and then the highlighter on the other. This just isn't a kind of product that I use super often, but if you do, that's available in the line. And then they have some new uh, brow gels. They have the clear one and then they have colored ones. So this is what the uh, blonde one looks like. So pretty like cool toned. I haven't remembered to use this either, but I don't use brow gels regularly. So I always forget to try them. Um, and then the little like bag that they sent it to me. And so that's super cute. This is definitely the stuff that I'm most excited about from them. They have new eyeshadows and new blushes and highlighters. So I've been playing around with these. Let me know if you'd want me to do, like just use these in a get ready with me or what you'd want me to do. Um, Cause I don't, we would be here forever if I swatched through every single color. I would say my favorites that I've tried out from the line are the mattes. I think they're really nice. And um, I've been using the mid-tone ones the most. So like this one, which is Love Affair, a really pretty kind of like um, mauvey pink. This one for blending, this one is Brown Canyon. And then this one, this one is Tiki Shed. So let me swatch those really quick for you. They're really nice and creamy, blend well. So those are the ones that I'm finding myself reaching for the most as far as the eyeshadows go. So if you're looking for some good mattes, these are very pretty. Oh, I didn't remove that. Hey, look at that. <laughs> putting it right over those other swatches. We're fancy around here, you know. 
Let me re-swatch that for you. Hang on one moment. So there they are actually swatched where you can see them rather than all jacked up over there. <laughs> So really nice and pigmented. I mean, look at that. That's that's really gorgeous. So those are the standouts as far as the eyeshadows go. But even more than the eyeshadows, I like the blushes. The blushes and the highlighters are absolutely my favorite from the new releases. I think they're so nice and pigmented. I've already mentioned these in videos and favorites. This one is Russet Rose. And this one is Infinity. And I love this highlighter. This is Pink Parfait. So let me swatch these for you really quickly. Like I said, I've already mentioned these in videos because um, these are absolutely the standouts for me. These are like really pretty um, neutral rosy shades. I don't know where I'm gonna swatch this. Okay, there we go. So beautiful. I mean, look how pigmented those are. And they blend into the skin. That highlighter is a really gorgeous kind of just pinky champagne kind of a color and together they're beautiful. So definitely the standouts are the blushes and the highlighters for me personally, but I do like the eyeshadows. The ones that I would say probably steer clear of from the eyeshadows are the, the ones that have kind of like um, little micro shimmer. Wasn't a huge fan of those, but the mattes I like, especially the neutral blending sort of shades. I got the cutest PR box from Laura Geller. So this is what it looks like. Adorable. So it says, are you a boss? That's what the little card says. And then the inside says, we want you ready for your next boss moment. So we're taking care of the basics in celebration of our new Lash Boss Mascara. Here are some ultimate boss accessories to get you started. So there's like a little thing of um, little cards. There's a stamp that says boss and the stamper and then the little holder. So super cute. So this is all around the Lash Boss Mascara. So it says major length volume curl mascara, triple benefit. Take control, lengthen, volumize, and curl your lashes like never before. Lash Boss tells your lashes what to do. Our signature protein infused take charge technology and dual sided bristle brush customizes the intensity of your look without clumping or flaking. Add length, use the longer bristles to lengthen with even precision, gently combing the wand all the way through lashes. Add volume and curl. Use shorter bristles to plump and curl bottom and hard to reach lashes, making sure to wiggle the wand from root to tip. So I've tried this a couple of times now. Um, I do really like the packaging of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, just a really beautiful, you know, presentation to it. I like the wand. I like the like two-sided sort of a thing. So I can tell that it does different things based on, you know, what direction you hold it and what side of the wand you're using. Um, this does smudge on me like really quickly, but most things smudge on me. Most mascaras do like 90% of them. So I'm kind of a tough case as far as that goes, but this I would say gives a lot of separation, really, um, defines each lash. It just doesn't give the intensity of volume that I'm looking for in a mascara. It's, it's weird. Like when I'm sitting at my vanity, I like the way it's looking, but when I go into the bathroom where I'm further away, I feel like I can't see my lashes as much. So mascara is such a personal preference. I would say if you're looking for um, that kind of fluttery looking lash where every lash is defined and not necessarily the clumpy, thick sort of looking lashes, you may really like this. Um, I'm still deciding what I think about it, but I think it's going to be one of those that I'm gonna layer with other things. Number one, just cause it smudges on me and it doesn't smudge down here. It smudges up here, which like I said, most things do cause my lashes touch and I have oily lids. So I'm gonna have to wear this with something else just because of that. But I'll probably pair it with something else just to add a little bit more volume. Beauty Blender sent me a package, which is really cool. This is what it looks like on the inside. So it comes with the original Beauty Blender, the solid cleanser, the um, Beauty Blusher, which I've never tried that. That's the gray one in the middle. And it says perfect size to apply cream and powder blush on the apples of the cheeks. And then also the micro mini, which that's adorable. That is so cute. It says focused contouring, highlighting, concealing, under eyes and color correcting. And then here's a little set of all three of them together. And the set is called all about face, three makeup sponges with sponge cleanser. So as far as makeup sponges go, I prefer brushes just because I'm faster at using brushes. So I tend to grab brushes way more 
than makeup sponges. But there are certain foundations that I just feel like look better with a sponge. So I do use sponges. And when I use them, I like the beauty blenders. I like the um, Real Techniques makeup sponge, the orange one. And then I like the Beauty Junkies sponges. So those are my favorites. But I've never tried these little ones. So, and I don't know that Real Techniques or makeup uh, or Beauty Junkies has little ones. So let me know. That might just be... I don't know. Let me know if they do or not. But as far as uh, like the regular sized ones, I like those three brands. So I'm excited to try these. Pixie is always so sweet and they sent me this box recently. I haven't tried these out yet, but these are different kinds of sprays. It says hashtag multi misting. So let me run through these different ones here. So this first one, it says invigorate. Um, is it the vitamin one? Yes. Vitamin Wake Up Mist. It says invigorate and revive. Use on clean, bare skin. It says with orange blossom and citrus extracts. So there's that one. Next, there is this white one, which is the Hydrating Milky, Milky Mist. It says with hyaluronic acid and black oat. Hydrate and soothe. Use any time to seal in moisture and soothe. So that sounds really nice, especially for a dry skin person. I bet that would really be a good one for you. This one is the pink one that says the makeup fixing mist with rose water and green tea. It says set and hydrate, set makeup and hydrate. So that is what that one looks like. And then lastly, this is the one that they're known for, the glowy mist. Ashley really loves this one. This is, um, it says with propolis and argon oil. It says glow and nourish. Use anytime for moisture and glow. So if you are into mists and makeup setting sprays and hydrating setting sprays and all that, Pixie's got some great options. Then I got a box from e.l.f. that has several different kinds of makeup brushes in here. So let's see what it says about these. It says, hey beautiful, give me spring, am I right? On top of spring fever, we've got serious brush fever and wanted to share some of our favorites from our precision brush collection. These babies are now officially available in store at Target. So you can snag the rest of the collection after you fall in love with these. So let me run through the different ones. Well, first off, there's the brush cleanser, brush cleanser wipes, which I've never used something like that, but that sounds really cool and easy and convenient. So there is the precision smudge brush, the precision eyeliner brush, the, what is this one? The precision eyeshadow brush, and then this one is the Precision Eyebrow Duo Brush. And then lastly, there is this larger brush. This is the Precision Sculpting Brush. These feel so soft and nice. So I'm not sure what the pricing is on these, but they feel really nice quality, um, like hefty feeling, just good quality. So this one seems especially interesting just because it's that like sculpting, but I like that it's domed. It's not like that flat sort of a sculpting brush that a lot of times has this shape. So I like that this one's domed. I feel like I'm gonna be able to blend with this one more easily. All right guys, so that wraps up this PR haul. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you think about these products, if you've tried any of them out. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.